Hello everyone, it's me, Teacher Jelly. Ang inyong Teacherellang Lincoln! Welcome to Teacherella Diaries. Here in this channel, I publish informative and relevant videos. So if you are new here, please do not forget to click the subscribe button. I just want to give a huge shout out to my friend. He's my batchmate in PNU Batch 2017. Miss Angelica and she also has her own channel. She just started her channel two months ago and her channel is Learning with Miss A. I want you to check that channel out. She also has educational vlogs na informative din and alam ko marami kayo matututunan. Welcome back teachers! In part 1, I gave an overview of what Plickers is and also I showed a very simple demo on how it works. If you have not watched part 1, please click the link in the description box below. I have also put there the link for printable Plicker cards. For part 2, I will show you how to install the Plicker app, how to add students' names, how to create questions, how to conduct the actual assessment, and also how to access the results sheet. This is a full-on tutorial and I will be with you from start to finish. Hello teachers! So now I'm gonna show you how you can install Plickers on your mobile phone. So simply go to Play Store, type Plickers, and ito pong my blue na check icon, install. So, hintayin lang po natin yan na matapos. Open. Okay, so here you need to create an account. But, you can simply sign in with Google. I'm sure you have your own email or Gmail on Google. So, tap sign in with Google. Okay, now you have to choose your account kung marami kang account dyan sa iyong Google. So, ang pipiling ko po ay ito. You can see, meron na po akong mga classes dahil ginamit ko nga po ito before. But ganito yung default na makikita nyo sa once you already have your own account. So, there you go. You already have your own account in Plickers. Now we are done installing Plickers on our mobile phone. We already have our own account. The next thing that I want to talk about is how you can create classes and how to add students' names on your classes. Okay, now I want you to um, get your laptop or your computer and type on your browser Plickers.com. Okay, I already have it here. Clickers.com Okay, this is the default page. So, I want you to click sign in. Since you already have your account. Remember, we made your own account using your Google. So, just click sign in. Okay, now I'm on my own account. Now, I want you to... Look over here, meron tayong sidebar on the left side. We have here new set, recent, library reports, score sheets. I'm gonna talk about those later. Those two. And you have your classes here. As I have mentioned earlier, I was able to use this before. That's the reason why I already have classes over here. So I want you to click new class. As you can see, you can create eight classes ng mabilisan, okay? Pero hindi ibig sabihin na 8 classes lang ang pwede. Kahit ilang klase po, pwede. Okay, so uh, enter natin kunwari um, English sev o kung gusto mo yung pangalan nung, nung section. Let's say, ang pangalan ng section ay 7 masipag. Diba? May ganyang mga section eh. Diba? Si 7 maganda. Mga ganyan. Tapos meron ka grade 8 kasi double prep ka. Wow. 8 matino. Mga ganyan. <laughs> Grabe naman yung mga pangalan ng mga klase mo ma'am. So, 
I think you already get my point. You can create multiple classes in just one click. So let's say isa lang muna yung class ko. Seven masipag. Create class. Ayan, diba? Seven masipag is almost ready. Ano ba yan? Di ba sila ready? Finish set up by adding your students. Okay, now this is the part where you're gonna add the names of your students. Okay, you have two options. Enter names, type in students' names into the box. Diba? Pwede mong i-type kung masipag ka. <laughs> Pero, alam ko, meron ka ng sariling listahan dahil masipag ka nga, diba? Meron ka ng record ready na yan. So, you can just copy and paste your row. So, for example, ito pong aking record. Aba! Wow! Artista ang mga estudyante ni ma'am. Sorry. <laughs> A to Z. Oh, diba? Hi, Miss Ivana. Okay. Hindi pa si Rizal. Buhay pa si Rizal. Sa ating mga puso. Eee! Okay, anyway. Ano ba, ma'am? Ang gulo mo. So, yan. Pinaste ko na. O, diba? Automatically, andito na yung student roster preview. Okay? Sa student roster, nandun yung student list natin. So, si Ivana Alawi nandiyan. Si, si Chloe Decker nandiyan din. At si Kim Chu. Next. Okay, so you have three options. How do you want your students to be sorted? Okay, paano siya nakaayos? As entered, kung paano mo siya in-enter. Sort by first name, okay? So, ibig sabihin alphabetical by first name or sort by last name. Alright, it's up to you. You know what? In my experience, students would want to be called by their first name. So, yun na lang. Yun yung gusto ko. Sort by first name and then done. And voila! I am done adding my student's name on my 7 Masipag class. O, oh, diba? Ito na siya. Class roster. Mm. Okay. Now, for example, hala, may bagong estudyante. Paano yun, ma'am? Na-enter ko na po yung mga pangalan. You can simply edit students. Quick add student. Kunwari, may bago akong estudyante, artista ulit. Si... Maris, Ay, gusto ko to si Maris. Ganda nitong bata na to eh. Sana lahat ganun kaganda, diba? Oh. Okay, at... O, oh, nandun na din si Maris. Okay, that's it. Okay, go back tayo dun sa class roster. Ayan, ito yung class roster. If you want to print this out, simply click print roster. Close na natin yan. Yay! We are done! Adding our students and creating our own classes. The next thing that we need to do and learn is how to create questions. Remember that the purpose of Flickers is for us teachers to conduct paperless assessment. So, kung may i-assess tayo, ano yung mga questions natin na pang-assess sa mga students? Okay. Let's now go to this part. Click New Set. Let me explain this to you. In each set, you are only allowed to make five questions. In each set. Hala, ma'am, paano yun? A15 questions po yung quiz ko or 10 questions. It's okay. You can just add another set. Okay, it's one of the limitations of the free version. But doon po sa pro version wherein you need to pay, only na po per set. Only na questions na po. Kung 100 gusto nyo, go. But you have to pay. But I'm encouraging you and, you know, to be to be more practical, you know, just maximize the free version. No need to pay. So now, gawa na tayo ng ating questions. Let's say, ito ay um, diagnostic. Diba? Dahil naghahanda na tayo sa pasokan. Okay, diagnostic. Hmm, isip tayo ng tanong. Blank. O, oh, diba? M A T T E. Actually, parang mali yata. Hindi yata allowed yung mga ganitong yung nasa unahan yung blank sa test question, test construction principles. But anyway, let's go. Blank is anything that occupies space and has weight. Wow, ma'am, science teacher ka na. Okay, type lang natin yan. Wait. So, Gawin na tayo ng choices. Remember sa test construction and principles natin, kailangan kung one word lang po ang ating choices, kailangan it's arranged alphabetically. But if it's more than one word, 
like it's a phrase or a sentence, it should be arranged according to its length. Details. DNA matter um, plasma Okay Done na tayo pagwa ng question and we also done uh, creating choices uh, Now piliin na natin yung tamang sagot So syempre ang tamang sagot ay si matter Yan yung i-click natin Green signifies that it's the correct answer Okay So dahil yan Next, to add new question, click nyo lang tong plus. Actually, madali lang tong gamitin, okay? Huwag po kayong mataranta, teachers. The key is to explore the app. The key is to explore the website. Because you will not learn here in my tutorial if you will not try to navigate the app and if you will not try to use the website, okay? So, add and then just, you know, add questions. So, let's say nakalima ka na. See? Pag nakalima na, hindi ka na makakapag-add ng question. Okay, so let's say sabi diagnostic set 1. Kasi nga, meron kang 10 questions or 15 questions. Okay, dahil tapos ka na, click mo lang tong add to Q. Okay, saan mo siya i-add? 7 faith, 7 joy, 7 hope, 7 masipag. sa ang klase? 7 masipag. Click mo yan. O, oh, diba? Nandoon na siya. Ma'am, paano kung marami akong ano klase? O, oh, ilagay din natin siya sa ibang klase. ba No problem po. Okay. So, ma'am, bakit po iba-iba po yung kulay ng mga klase? Actually, you can personalize the color of your class. Balik ka na. Dito. And, o, oh, ba? Ngayon, meron ka ng diagnostic set 1. You're done making questions. Okay, now I'm on my Plickers application doon sa aking cellphone. Okay, for example, ang klase ko ay History 7. And I have already prepared my questions for that class. Now, let's say mag-start na tayong mag-gandak nung assessment natin. Okay. So, as you can see, real-time parehas ng naka-flash doon sa website. Kung ano po yung question na nandito sa aking cellphone ay ayun din po ang question na naka-flash doon sa website. Ibig sabihin, pwede ko pong i-connect itong laptop ko sa projector para makita ng mga estudyante yung mga tanong. Alright? Let's begin. Ayon sa kasi science, yun ang pinakamaingay sa bahay. A. J. M. B. Kabir. C. Chano. D. Nanay. Let's say, binigyan mo na sila ng wait time, thinking time, and you ask them to raise their answers. Ayan, kita nyo na record, uh, na, na scan yung kanyang sagot. Try natin kung kaya hanggang super layo. Ngayon, kita nyo rin doon sa ating website na ang sagot ni student Chano ay B at naka-highlight na siya ng blue. It means to say that you were able to successfully scan his card. O, ba? Next. Next question. Sino ang pinakamagaling magluto? Scan ulit natin. Try natin yung medyo mas malayo. Wala ako yung mga student ngayon eh. Kaya, ayan, ayan ba? Kita nyo, na-scan ulit ang kanyang sagot. At sa ating website, nag-appear na si student Chano ay may highlight na na blue. Ibig sabihin, you successfully scanned his answer. Reveal answer. O, ba Nakita nyo, dito sa website, pinakita kung sino ang tamang sagot. Now, the next part is how to access the scores or yung test results. Just go to score sheet. Okay. So, welcome to score sheet. Select a class on the left to get started. So, over here on our left sidebar, we will see all of our classes. So, dahil history 7 po yung klase ko na yun, click natin yan. And, makikita nyo po yung 
result ng kanilang exam last week. Ito yun week yun eh. Let's be specific. So, I chose 9, June 9, kasi yun yung araw na naganda kami ng aming assessment. So, as you can see, meron tayong first name, last name, total score. Okay? So, si Chano ay naka 0 over 2. Si JM na ay naka 1 over 1. Si Kabir ay naka 0 over 1. Ibig sabihin po nito, 1 to 2 lang po itong aming tanong. Ibig sabihin si Chano ay walang tamang sagot. Si JM ay isa lang yung nasagutan. At si Kabir ay 0 over 1. Ibig sabihin, isa lang yung nasagutan niya at mali siya. Okay, na I want you to focus over here. Meron ditong 3 dots. Click mo yan. Dito, pwede mong i-set how you want to see the score sheet. So, how you want to see the results. Display card numbers. Kita mo, nagbago. Nagkaroon ng card number. Remember, si Kabir ay Plicker Card 1, JM Plicker Card 2, Chano Plicker Card 3. Now, if that's not necessary for you, unclick mo lang yan. Mawawala yan. Same with others. Display last name. Yeah, that's it. And now, it's time for you to export data to CSV. Ibig sabihin, ma-export siya into an Excel file. Click mo lang yan. And then, an Excel file will automatically be created. Click natin. Okay, ayan. Kita natin. Andito yung pangalan. Andito rin yung score. Okay? Tapos, andito rin yung mga sinagot nila. ba? Pati yung tanong nandoon din. So, yeah. So, napakadali lang po. All you need to do is to copy their score and paste it to your class record. There you go. No need to check. And the result is already there. You just have to copy and paste it to your class record. Yay! I hope you were able to understand the process and how it works. Sure, you still have questions in your head and we are reserving that for part 3. In part 3, I'll be answering questions, common questions na nakita ko na po. At tinanong nyo po dun sa mga previous videos ko. And also, I will talk about limitations and, you know, advantages. By the way, please do not forget to share this video. See you there!